So we celebrated five years back in October. Oh, so uh, we started October of 2013. Um, and at that time, I was still practicing law, but I made the decision that I would stop taking new legal clients okay. at that point. Um, but at the same time, it was very important to me because adoption is such a deeply personal area of the law that I not refer any of the clients that I had at that time out to other attorneys. So okay. I wanted to naturally conclude the matters that I had. And that took about another six months to do. Okay. So, you know, as one ramped down, the other ramped up, which was, you know, a, a phenomenal condition to be in, you right. know, as an entrepreneur, you know, I had that that safety net and you know, a little bit more stability and predictability income wise, which I feel very fortunate to have had. I realize not every entrepreneur gets to have an experience like that. Um, and in fact, even even myself, when I started my law firm, I think a lot of people were like, well, don't you want to you know, think about, <laughs> right. don't you want to do something on the side or kind of yeah. contract work, anything? No. Right, right. Um, but I just dove in head first. So okay. your client shift obviously yes. went from the public who That's were right. looking for adoptions to now other attorneys who obviously you had some relationships with right, through the yeah. bar and, and other associations. But did you find any challenges in switching that role, switching that target? You know, kind of. Yes. Um, so attorneys are natural skeptics. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure that's shocking to hear, yeah. but um, but it's true. And so, um, going from a market base where people were really interested in what I had to say, I was the subject matter expert. Um, that's still the case now for me. But it's it's almost more of a case where I have to get to the yes. Yeah. I would have had to have tried really hard to to find a no for my legal clients because right. they you know they were pursuing my service because they understood that in order to accomplish their goal they needed me. Right. Um, lawyers don't have that recognition necessarily uh, when they start to to speak with me about you know, what I can do for them. It's yeah. it's more of a, well, I, I know what, you know, the, all the marketing gobbledygook and right. I don't think I need that. I don't know. La lawyers are different. I don't know if this is going to work for a lawyer. Um, so yeah, so that just overcoming that skepticism, uh, which I do through education. I okay. feel if my, if my clients feel really comfortable and informed about what's going to happen, they're a lot happier, um, a lot more likely to be more open-minded about what I have to say. And I think that's probably the frustration of a lot of lawyers in general um, when they are being bombarded by service providers in any area. It's right. that, hey, we're going to do these 55 things for you. Don't worry about how it works. Just trust me. Here's the check. Yeah. Um, you know, but, but I take a very different approach. 